The officers were no happier with the war, though, than those that they led. Their blame was mostly aimed at the politicians who had placed them in an impossible position, but were not able to criticize military or political leaders publicly. Still, on rare occasions, they did make their opinions known. One of these was a spoof interview of an Air Force pilot called What the Captain Means, made by two officers of Cameron's 12th Tactical Fighter Wing, Recorded in 1966, it was far ahead of its time. The following statements were recorded when a civilian correspondent interviewed a shy, unassuming Air Force Phantom Jet fighter pilot. So the correspondent wouldn't misconstrue the pilot's replies, the wing information officer was on hand as a monitor to make certain that the real Air Force story would be told. The captain was first asked his opinion of the F-4C Phantom. It's so fucking maneuverable, you can fly up your own ass with it. What the captain means is that he has found the F-4C highly maneuverable at all altitudes, and he considers it an excellent aircraft for all missions assigned. I suppose, Captain, you've flown a certain number of missions in North Vietnam. What did you think of the stands used by the North Vietnamese? Why, those bastards couldn't hit a bull in the ass with a bass fiddle. We faked the shit out of them. There's no sweat. What the captain means is that the surface-to-air missiles around Hanoi pose a serious problem to our air operations and that the pilots have a healthy respect for them. I suppose, Captain, that uh, you've flown missions to the south. What kind of ordnance do you use and uh, what kind of targets do you hit? Well, I'll tell you, mostly we aim at kicking the shit out of Vietnamese villages. And my favorite ordnance is napalm. Man, that stuff just sucks the air out of their friggin' lungs and makes a son of a bitch in fire. What the captain means is that airstrikes in South Vietnam are often against Viet Cong structures, and all operations are always under the positive control of forward air controller or FAC. The ordinance employed is conventional 500 and 750-pound bombs and 20-millimeter cannon fire. I suppose you've spent an R&R in Hong Kong. Uh, what were your impressions of the Oriental girls? Yeah, I went to Hong Kong. Uh, as far as those Oriental broads... Well, I don't care which way the runway runs, east or west, north or south. A piece of ass is a piece of ass. What the captain means is that he found the delicately featured Oriental girls fascinating, and he was very impressed with their fine manners and thinks their naivete is most charming. Tell me, Captain, have you flown any missions other than over North and South Vietnam? You bet your sweet ass I've flown other missions, uh, missions other than in North and South. We get fragged nearly every day for uh, those... Fuckers over there throw everything at you, but the freaking kitchen sink. Even the goddamn kids got slingshots. What the captain means is that he has occasionally been scheduled to fly missions in the extreme western DMZ, and he has a healthy respect for the flak in that area. I understand that uh, no one in the 12th Tactical Fighter Wing has got a MiG yet. Uh, wh wh what seems to be the problem? Well, you screwhead, uh, if you knew anything about what you're talking about, the problem is MiGs. We get fragged by those peckerheads at 7th for those counters in MiG Valley. You can bet your ass we'd get some of them mothers. Those glory hounds at Ubon get all those frags while we settle for fighting the friggin' war. Those mothers at Ubon are sitting on their fat asses killing megs and we get stuck with bombing the goddamn cabbage patches. What the captain means is that each element of the 7th Air Force is responsible for doing their assigned job in the air war. Some units are assigned the job of neutralizing enemy air strength by hunting out megs, and other elements are assigned bombing missions and interdiction of enemy supply routes. Of all the targets you've hit in Vietnam, uh, which one is was the most satisfying? Oh, shit, it was getting fragged for that friggin' suspected V.C. vegetable garden. I dropped napalm in the middle of the fucking rutabaga and uh, cabbage, and my wingman splashed it real good with six of those 750-pound mothers and spread the fire all the way to the friggin' beets and carrots. What the captain means is that the great variety of tactical targets available throughout Vietnam make the F-4C the perfect aircraft to provide flexible response. What do you consider the most difficult target you've struck in North Vietnam? The friggin' bridges. I must have dropped 40 tons of bombs on those swaying bamboo mothers, and I ain't hit one of the bastards yet. What the captain means is that interdicting bridges along enemy supply routes is very important and a quite difficult target. The best way to accomplish this task is to crater the approaches to the bridges. I uh, noticed in uh, touring the base that you have aluminum matting on the taxiways. Would, would you care to comment on its effectiveness and usefulness in Vietnam? You fucking right, I'd like to make a comment. Most of us pilots are well hung, but since you don't know what hung is until you get hung up on one of those friggin' bumps on that goddamn stuff. What the captain means is that the aluminum matting is quite satisfactory as a temporary expedient, 
but requires some finesse in taxiing and braking the aircraft. Did you have an opportunity to meet your wife on leave in Honolulu, and uh, did you enjoy the visit with her? Yeah, I met my wife in Honolulu, but I forgot to check the calendar, so the whole five days were friggin' well combat proof. A completely dry run. What the captain means is that it was wonderful to get together with his wife and learn firsthand about the family and how things were at home. Thank you for your time, Captain. Screw you. Why don't you bastards print the real story instead of all that crap? What the captain means is that he enjoyed the opportunity to discuss his tour with you. Ah, uh, one final uh, question. Uh, could you reduce your impression of the war into a simple phrase or a statement, Captain? You bet your ass I can. It's a fucked up war. What the captain means is it's a fucked up war. <laughs>